welcome to another jewelry making video brought to you by KeepsakeCrafts.net. Today we're going to be making this happy bracelet full of beaded pearl dangles. It's kind of like a party on your wrist. So to make this bracelet, the first thing you will need is a bracelet base. And I've gone ahead and started mine here. I've chosen three different types of chain. We have one with 10 millimeter links, another with five millimeter, and another with six millimeters. And all I've done is I've cut one of them to be the length I need for a bracelet. And then I put all three onto a jump ring and then cut the other two to match the length and also added a lobster clasp to this end. To finish the other end of the bracelet, all you need to do is open another jump ring and slide in all the ends of the chain. And make sure your jump ring is closed securely. So that being done, now we have all of our bead dangles to make. And I have here an assortment of glass pearls. They actually came in a bag from Fire Mountain Gems. It was a it was a called the Mixed Glass Pearl Collection. And these range from 12 millimeters down to 5 millimeters. And I've just slid them all onto a head pin. And then each bead has also gotten a gunmetal plated bead cap. And that will just tie everything all together. And I have about 60 of these here. And this is how I recommend you work. If you're making one of these pieces of jewelry that has a lot of bead dangles, do it assembly line style. Get all your beads and bead caps onto head pins, and then the next step will be to trim, and then the step after that will be to make loops. So let me show you that. You simply take a ruler. I find it helpful to have a ruler so that I make them all the same length. And you're going to cut and make sure you, I like to sort of grab it with my pliers and pull on it so that I know I've got all of the wire that's coming out of the bead. And then right at 3 8 I'll snip it with the flush part of my pliers towards the part I'm keeping. 3 8 about a centimeter of wire sticking out the end. Next, grasp that wire, and if you need to, mark a two millimeter spot on your pliers with a Sharpie, so your loops will all be consistent. Put that wire in there so you can't feel any of it coming out. Your hand should be positioned like this with the pliers facing up, and all you do is twist your wrist, and keep twisting until that wire has crossed over itself. And then we're just going to grab this and bend it back and that centers the loop over the bead and also uncrosses it from itself and it should be nice and closed right now. And you're just going to do that with all of your bead dangles. Like I said, it's a great idea to trim them all, you know, string them all, trim them all, and then make all your loops at once. And it's just a nice project to sit and listen to some music or a good book. Okay, so here I've gone ahead and made all of my beads and bead caps into bead dangles, just with simple loops. No need for wrap loops here. And now it's time to attach them to the bracelet and we're going to use six millimeter jump rings. Now while I was wrapping my beads, I just took the time to kind of sort these into groups with the largest so that each group of three would have a bigger one and a smaller one. There's 21 links on this 10 millimeter chain, so I've made 21 piles of three beads. So I'll put three on each. And let me show you how we do that. I'm going to grab a jump ring with a pair of chain nose pliers on one side, hold it on one side, use another pair of chain nose pliers to twist it open on the other side. And I'm going to start down this end. I'm going to slide the jump ring through one of the large links of chain and then I'm just so it's not crowded, I'm going to reposition my chain nose pliers so I'm grabbing it with the side just so that there's a little bit more room to put my dangles on. I'm going to put on one group 
of three dangles. And then this is where the bent nose, chain nose come in handy because you can get into tight spaces. And now I'm just going to make sure that jump ring is very securely closed. And then I'm going to work my way down this chain adding a group of three bead dangles to each of these large links and occasionally perhaps catching in one of these smaller chains in the jump ring just to kind of hold it all together. So there I've attached all of my bead dangles in clusters of three with jump rings and what I kind of ended up doing was alternating. One jump ring would grab a, this silver chain on one link and then the other, and the next jump ring would grab this black chain and I just kind of kept going that way. And what you end up with is this very full, it's actually quite heavy bracelet. And it really is just a fun kind of party bracelet. This would be great to do with all crystals, or it would be wonderful with just a monochromatic scheme. You could do it with all pearls of one color. It's actually a very simple project to put together. It's just time consuming because of the number of dangles. But it ends up having a rather fun, weighty feel. So here's another look at the bracelet we made today. I hope that you like this project and you'll give it a try. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe to my channel so you see more like it. Up on the screen are two more bracelet videos you might enjoy. Please be sure to check out my blog, KeepsakeCrafts.net, where I have lots of creative ideas and inspiration. And happy creating! Bye-bye.